Hi, you know what's better than a bit of spontaneity? A lot of spontaneity. So today I'm gonna go out and show you my day through a cartridge of Instax minifilm. At one point I'll have to cheat a bit because I only have nine left in the camera and I'll have to put in a new cartridge. So buckle in for not necessarily a bumpy ride, but you'll see. I forgot to mention, this is an Instax Mini 9 that I bought in the summer of 2020. It's not too versatile and some of the specifications will be relevant later, but right now, as an introduction, I would mention that it has a built-in light meter that indicates which out of four stops you need to choose on this dial. It's notoriously unreliable, but once you get over it, it can be pretty funny. So, the first stop is a doctor's appointment. Then I go to the library, that's the day. The M4 is my favorite subway line in Budapest. It was finished less than two months before I moved here and I've always loved that every station has a different architectural concept. It takes a good 10 minutes for the pictures to fully develop. The process is quicker in warm temperature and longer when it's cold. This is Bojci Zilinski Wood in the city center. I was worried that I chose the wrong setting, partly cloudy instead of overcast, because the buildings have some darker brown shades and a lot of shadows on the street level, and the camera tends to meter to the lighter parts of the composition. But, as it turns out, this photo is in fact within the top 3 out of the 10. I did what had to be done, then I walked past St. Stephen's Basilica on my way to the CU campus. I was hungry, but unfortunately every food place downtown caters to tourists. However, there's a grocery store in Nador Utsa. I couldn't take a picture of the Nador 15 building's facade because of the high contrast and the direct sunlight on the reflective surfaces. Here's an older photo though. I'm finally at CU in the rooftop garden and the view is absolutely stunning. For work, I'm gonna have a very Hungarian lunch. I'm so hyped about it, in fact, that I'm gonna take a close up picture of it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take pictures in the library because it's too dark and the camera is too loud, but I think I deserve a selfie with this text I'm about to finish a paper on. It is a very mysterious and perplexing 11th century text. My hypothesis is that it is satire that is meant to parody the contentious points of uh, the Lord Vassar relationship and contemporary societal problems. It's gonna be awful. Yeah, I told you so. As you can see, these photos are completely blown out, but this is what you get with an 800 ISO film, fixed shutter speed of 1 slash 60 seconds, and a maximum aperture of f slash 32.4. So in very bright places, the photos come out about two stops overexposed using the sun setting. Also, you cannot turn off the flash, and that's probably why you can't see anything in the middle of this picture. Um, so far, so... Visible. Yes, that's how detached I am. So, at the CU Medieval Library it is. I found this pop-up exhibit where Károly Kurut branches out from the Actair that shows a photo from every district of Budapest during the revolution of 1956. I grew up in the third district and passed this building, the district government building, every morning and afternoon for more than 15 years. This is the place where I would come to smoke between classes when I was an undergrad. Don't smoke kids, it's very bad. By the way, it was blue downhill. The 
problem with Instax film is that it doesn't handle dimly lit or shady environments too well. I think I used the overcast setting for this one, which should be enough. And by the way, the light meter indicated this setting as well. It also has this cold bluish hue, which I think is due to that the film is balanced at 5500 Kelvin light, which is best suited for regular sunlight. This is what other photos look like in overcast weather and at dusk. Anyway, after some dilly dallying, I finally got to the library, and this is what the camera spit out on the indoor setting. It's kind of funny because the medieval library is known for having pretty good natural lighting, especially in the early afternoon, and the lights were on too. So, when I felt it was time, I set out to do what I call extracurricular activities, but normal adult people call errands. Alright, let's try some so-called night photography. I knew it was going to be among the best because I was going for this black and white kind of contrast. Then I tried to get home after 9000 steps, most of which were superfluous, but the tram that would have dropped me off directly in front of the grocery store and like 50 meters away from my apartment building malfunctioned or something. So I had to make a huge detour, but finally I could get some rest. And now I'm going to spread out all time pictures and rank them. This one is mid, mainly because of the huge empty white space in the middle. This is one of my favorites, it's dark and moody, and I think it captures the essence of downtown Budapest very well. This one came out pretty good too, I think. As you can see, this part is a bit overexposed, but uh, I like the color balance, the saturation, the contrast, and the overall vibe. The roof garden pics are all terrible. Well, this one is on me because uh, the shutter didn't go off when I first pressed on the button and then I blinked. This one is nice, but nothing really interesting about it, except for the sentimental value. At least uh, you can see what's in the photo, which cannot be said about this one. I mean, uh, the squiggly bench is definitely there and the upper half of the building, but it's not the best. But still, compared to this abomination, it's not that bad. Now, this one is ridiculous. So ridiculous, in fact, that uh, I have to open a new row in the bottom. But in turn, as I said, this one is one of my favorites. Overall, the Instax Mini is very easy to use, but as you can see, it's pretty hard to take uh, good photos with it. It's either too bright or too dark or has too much contrast, maybe here, and so on. But that really isn't the point. The point is to have fun and the excitement that you have while waiting for the picture to show up. It's like Christmas morning or Christmas Eve for us over and over again. And although I was making fun of about half of these photos, I don't necessarily hate them. And all of them will go into my album, even this one. It was a fun day even with the small annoyances. And these are fun pictures. Instax cameras really make you embrace imperfections, which can be a bit of a challenge if you're a perfectionist. The light meter in particular can push my buttons sometimes, pun intended. I told you spontaneity was good. But still, I recommend you to try what I did if you have the opportunity. For example, I got a decent pile of film for my name day. That's why I could go through an entire cartridge so nonchalantly. If you have made it here, I would like you to comment which photo was your favorite and how much you hate the one I took in the library. I plan to upload feel good content again semi-regularly, so subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm on my way to hit 1 million subscribers soon. <laughs> so until next time, take care, bye.